Hello everyone and welcome back to my Warhammer 40k guides. I am Brady and today I wanted to do some speculation with you guys in the form of a short video. So I was chatting with a friend and a patron of mine in the Almost Pro Gaming Discord server and he brought up that in all the videos he's watched that go over the new points for units in the game, including my own video here on the channel, he noticed that no one brought up the faction Renegades and Heretics, which for those of you who don't know what that is, that faction is a Forge World faction that basically equates to being Chaos Astra Militarum. And the faction itself isn't all that popular except for diehard fans and for the people that abused the Malefic Lords back in the beginning of 8th edition. I assume this is in part because it's a Forge World army and Forge World stuff is insanely expensive. Also the rules kind of sucked really bad. So I decided to look up the faction for him in my review copy of the book that Games Workshop sent me, which again, big shout out to Games Workshop by the way for sending me that review copy. And as I looked through the book about four or five times, I could not find Renegade and Heretics anywhere. So basically, unless it's FAQ'd, Renegades and Heretics don't exist in 9th edition Warhammer 40k. So here's where the speculation comes in. The first reason for this, and I think is most likely the actual reason, is that Games Workshop kind of just forgot to put them in the book. Games Workshop is a big company and all, but we've seen many times where Games Workshop makes mistakes like this. So to be honest, I believe this is most likely the case, which is unfortunate, and we'll most likely see an FAQ a few weeks after the release of this book that adds in the points for the army for the 12 Renegade and Heretic players in the world. The second reason, which I think is the next most likely reason to the first, is that maybe Games Workshop just wanted to delete the army. Like I said earlier, it's not that popular of an army, and it's so unpopular in fact that no one that even has the book right now even noticed that they were missing from the book, including myself. So Games Workshop might have just figured it wasn't worth porting them over to 9th edition. And the third and final reason I see for Games Workshop not putting them in the book, and this is my personal favorite and I really hope it's the case, is what if Games Workshop deleted the faction because we are going to be getting a revamped Chaos Astra Militarum army as an actual Games Workshop codex sometime in 9th edition. I've been wanting this for a very, very long time, and personally I think it would be easy for Games Workshop to implement. They already have the Heretic Guard models from that one box set, and for models like Lehman Russes, they could just sell upgrade kits to allow conversions like they do with stuff like the Imperial Fist upgrade kits that let people convert regular Space Marine models. In my opinion, Renegades and Heretics never did Chaos Guard any justice in the tabletop game, at least in 8th, unless you consider the OP version of the Malefic Lord, so I think it would be cool if they were added to the game as an actual Games Workshop faction, instead of just being a Forge World faction that they don't really pay much attention to. And if this army was announced and released, I know I would be the first in line waiting to purchase it, because I love Astra Militarum, but I also love Chaos. So let's do a little bit more speculation just in case this does happen, and even if it doesn't, well, it's always fun to speculate. I think the army would be really cool if they played pretty much just like regular Astra Militarum, like Orders and whatnot, but if they also added in stuff like Chaos Marks to different units to allow you to make your Chaos Regiment align with a certain god, or for people like me to min-max and figure out the best combos for each unit based on what their marks can do. I think it would be great. They could also have certain regiments be dedicated to one god at a time as well, kind of like how we have certain Chaos Legions, like Emperor's Children, who are dedicated to following Slanesh. They could have the same thing with regiments too. Or they could have some regiments that are like Black Legion, that are open to following any god. It also opens up some cool modeling ideas, like Possessed Guardsmen, or Possessed Bulgren, which I think would be amazing. And as far as I'm aware, it's also lore friendly too because there is Chaos Guard in the lore, but they just really aren't represented on the tabletop unless someone uses the regular Astra Militarum rules with a regular Astra Militarum army, but just converts it to look like it's Chaos and so they say that it's Chaos, but it really isn't because it's still using the regular Imperium Astra Militarum rules. I know I've seen this at a tournament with someone that did Dark Hereticus, like Chaos Admech. It was just a normal Admech army, but they converted it to look beautiful as a Chaos army. So yeah, I think this would be a great option for the game, and I'm kinda hoping that the reason Renegades and Heretics was deleted was because Chaos Guard is on the way. At least I hope. As I said in the beginning of this video though, this is 100% entirely speculation based on the fact that Renegades and Heretics is not found in the chapter approved points book. Meaning for now, they don't exist in the game. So again, I am very hopeful that this means we will see the army revamped in 9th edition as an actual Games Workshop army, and hopefully they get the same love as the rest of the Games Workshop products. But, unfortunately, it also could mean that Games Workshop just forgot to put them in the book and they will be FAQ'd in later. Only time will tell and I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. And I guess that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys and gals think of this info, and if Chaos Guard is going to be a thing in 9th edition, what kind of stuff would you want the army to have? I'm sure you guys can come up with some better ideas than I could, so let me know down in the comments. I still read every comment on my videos, so I'd love to know your thoughts. 
Also, for the big fans of the channel, sorry I haven't been uploading a lot in the past couple of weeks. I've been taking my time to play a lot of 9th edition games and doing some testing for future videos, so stay tuned for those. Anyways, that's all I have to say other than thanks to my patrons for being awesome and thanks to all my fans who got the channel up to 30,000 subs recently. You guys are amazing and I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Thanks again for watching this video. Sorry that it was short, but I figured it'd be a fun little cool video to do some speculation on and I'll see you in the next one. Happy Wargaming.